Hi guys, welcome all of you to Baiju's exam prep app. Sunday, 7th of January, you are going to appear finally in the ISRO 2023 examination. Yes, okay, it's of course going to be held for electronics, mechanical and computer science in the morning. That is the forenoon slot and for civil and electrical, it's in the uh, afternoon slot. So just like one day left. And you know, this is a very important stage where you have to be very patient because you have prepared a lot. So you need not panic what's going to happen, what's not going to happen. Just carefully revise or last, last particular day, you should just be focusing only on the formula revision mostly and little bit question practice no new concept no new area you should be touching up okay some important tips from my side before you enter the ISRO 2023 exam hall that's going to be on Sunday okay so that you're well prepared about all of the points and you know admit cards are also released so you know very carefully you have to go through each and every point some guidelines are mentioned in the admit cards that also I'll try to highlight but the first thing I would like to tell you is take a deep breath okay and just revise up whatever you have done, especially formula part. I mean, okay, no need to revise the detailed loads also right now. You cannot also in one day. So one day just focus should be quick formula revision along with question practice. No need to study a lot on the last day. Okay, that is Saturday. No need to study a lot. I mean, even if you study nominal six to eight hours, I think that's okay because it's important to keep yourself calm in the last particular day rather than, you know, uh, getting over sentimental uh, and losing out your patience on the exam day. It is very important to maintain, you know, the proper sleep and the proper food don't eat unnecessarily anything that may spoil your health and especially saturday night you should have a you know you should sleep early and should have a sound sleep so that you know whatever two hours you're going to give in the exam time that should be really fresh mind that should be with a fresh mind especially for the students of electronics mechanical computer science those who are going to appear in the morning uh, slot okay now uh, before i tell you any other tips let me also go uh, to the uh, to basically the admit card Okay, there are some important points that you should note from the admit card so that you are well prepared about all of them. So in this format, you must have got the admit card. This is the admit card of one particular student. So I'm not, I don't highlight the name and all. Okay, of course, this is the recruitment for scientists, engineers. See the exam date 7 January. This is electronics uh, admit card. Okay, as mentioned. Okay, so the exam slot is in the morning 10 hours to 12 hours. That is a two hours examination. Okay, so in case if your exam time is morning, you are required to report by 8 okay by 8 okay and the entry closes at 9 a.m okay so you don't wait up to 9 p.m i suggest reach 8 yeah even 10 minutes before 8 also you reach that should be better unnecessary at the end moment you should not be running behind things you should be very calm so reach plan accordingly so that you wake up get ready and reach the venue after having a, you know little good breakfast reach the venue at around 8 a.m okay Chalo. So that is what is the first thing, you know, put your signature here and also affix, it's mentioned that uh, to affix a self-attested recent passport size photograph. Okay, some important points you must have gone through, but yeah, just very important thing to note here is, okay, take the printout of this call letter because, and this call letter, that is this admit card will also be along with your photograph and signature will be collected and they'll be retained by ISRO only. Okay, so as I mentioned, affix latest photo size photograph, definitely do not forget to take one, uh, photo id at least one photo id maybe other card driving license whatever it is okay very clearly mentioned no you cannot take any uh, electronic gadgets or books or water wa watches or paper chits or magazines okay electronic gadgets in the form of bluetooth headphone mobile phone scanners camera you know smart watches even if you are taking a watch do not you know because some many students these days have the smart watch don't wear any smart watch or don't take any calculator whether it is a physical calculator or the mobile based calculator nothing you should be taking okay you're not exa allowed to take it inside the examination hall so be very careful yes you are allowed to bring it to the venue so in case you're bringing your mobile phone or any other things which is maybe necessary for you so you have to keep it outside the exam hall but you have to keep it at your own uh, risk there will not be any uh, separate lockers or rooms provided by the organizing by the isro by the exam center as well so in case if your friend or father or you know somebody from your family is traveling with you they can uh, take care of the things or if you have vehicle you can keep it inside the vehicle but not exam inside the exam hall okay so if you have your own arrangements for the safe custody then take it otherwise leave it at the home okay otherwise leave it at the home okay so there will be biometric registered for you at the venue okay and that is also one of the reason they're asking you to reach on time there will be several formalities going on because the biometrics that they're going to capture at the exam venue okay the same biometric will be used for the further stages also when you go to interview and further selection criteria. okay only blue and black point well since you know isro is offline examination okay so yeah it's it's going to be omr best so yeah you can fill the answer in the omr okay by bubbling it okay but only through blue or black ballpoint don't take any other color like red green or etc be very specific about they have very specifically 
mentioned and answers one mark cannot be corrected now okay so you know there are some answers which you are very sure about okay so mark only those answers initially and that too very carefully you have to be very concentrated sometimes in haribari it happens you know answer is a you have calculated a but you know by chance you ticked b and it cannot be erased okay okay it cannot be erased be very careful okay so answers once marked cannot be corrected if you mark two answers it will not be evaluated okay you will not get the marks for that particular question so be very careful while you know be concentration kabhi kabhi jaldbazi mein mistake hota to be very careful that you have to mark the correct answer only and if you are doubtful by chance so leave it right now because negative marking is there in the technical paper maybe mark it later you know after evaluating uh, the, uh, once again the written test will be for a duration of 120 minutes as you all know there will be only objective type questions four answers only one can be correct it's proper mcq format only one can be correct the omr that you're going to get will contain uh, 1 to 100 but it's a standard omr pattern they may have taken but you you have to only concentrate on 1 to 95 only okay so uh, the uh, part a that you know is technical okay that contains 80 questions one for correct answer zero for an unattempted and negative marking is there in technical that is minus 0.33 negative marking is there in the technical for a wrong answer part b you know is aptitude that is 15 questions okay 15 questions okay of total 20 marks so it's not 4 by 3 you know like like maybe we were expecting 15 questions for 20 marks maybe 4 by 3 but no okay what they have clearly mentioned is there are 15 questions total 20 marks okay but each question carrying different marks so maybe 10 one marker and 5 two markers that is what maybe they have decided i really don't know they can have any other pattern as well okay but yeah okay maybe 5 2 markers and 10 one markers that's how 20 it comes out so there will be total 15 questions that sort okay and we all know that there is no negative mark in the aptitude portion that is the part number b okay now with the omr uh, that you are filling you will also be having a carbon copy of the omr so you are allowed to take that carbon copy of the omr and the original question booklet after the examination okay so once you return home you can see what was the question paper and what you have marked so immediately you can evaluate how many correct how many incorrect so that's going to be that's going to be good for you okay so candidates are allowed to take the carbon copy of the omr sheet and the question booklet after the examination okay so you can evaluate your marks okay maybe the response key you know you can discuss with the friends we'll also provide you the response key and all those things and you can immediately see how you have performed okay so these are some important points that you must mention okay now one of the very important point is as you know that there is exam is going to be total duration 120 minutes okay 80 80 technical questions 15 aptitude questions that makes 95 questions dear students 95 questions in 120 minutes so what 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 is the essence that you get from here very clearly that okay it's going to be a paper where choice of question is going to be very important okay don't take any subject or any question on ego that you have to necessarily do it maybe this is my favorite area no what should be your priority while attempting the examination that first you should attempt those questions which you know is solvable within few seconds because there will be some questions which is time taking it's not that ki 120 minutes and 95 uh, questions are there so all questions will be easy there will be good questions also so definitely choice will matter here so first definitely attempt those questions which you are able to solve within seconds yeah less than within less than a minute even if you feel that some question is you know the answer you know the concept but it's going to take little bit of time maybe uh, you know 2 minutes or so please skip it maybe it is your favorite area please keep it attempt at the end the first priority should be solving correct and as many questions as possible both are important correct and as many so please take care about this point especially in the exam hall okay so this see this is very uh, the first thing the first strategy that is going to decide your performance is about this time management is about this time management okay so again i repeat okay again i repeat the first priority should be yeah, let's come back here Okay so again i repeat guys the first priority should be taking up those questions which you know which you are sure the answer is going to come up in next 30 40 seconds yeah, within a minute okay because there will be many questions of such category uh, okay again i repeat that you will be getting some questions which you feel is your favorite zone but that is calculative by chance that question has come to be calculative don't waste a time do it at the end first direct questions Okay, first direct questions whose answer with minimum effort you are getting so as you you have more number of questions attempted. That is what is the very good strategy. Okay, for such examinations where time is less, questions are more. Ninety five questions, one twenty minutes. Please do follow it. You will get benefited. Okay, guys. So with this, uh, I Rakesh Talreja will sign off for the session. I thought of making a small video to give you some important tips. Okay, uh, three important points I need to again highlight at the end. Number one is uh, since it's the last day left. Okay, do not study anything new. Do not take much pressure. Maybe six to eight hours of revision, formula revision, and you know if you want some basic question practice, that is enough for the last day. Okay, next point to take care is enough. 
proper sleep okay like six to seven hours okay and a healthy diet okay do not eat unnecessary that may you know trigger your health issues or etc okay and number three points all the documents that are mentioned including your photographs print out of the call letters you know the the ids whatever documents you have to carry okay please do uh, get them ready well in advance okay don't create unnecessary hassles of course reach the exam hall in time okay and that 120 minute strategy do not forget it please try to implement in the exam hall for First priority should be more number of questions in less number of times okay so hope uh, you follow it and guys uh, all the very very best you might have prepared a lot because the notification came somewhere in may i think uh, 25th of may or somewhere okay and almost uh, the uh, year 2023 passed yeah into january you're going to appear for the 2023 so recruitment but whatever it is you might have prepared hard a lot nothing to worry if you have prepared no need to panic because sometimes even after your lot of hard work and a lot of really good preparation the panic and the pressure spoils your uh, entire effort so do not let that happen with you okay if by chance paper is tough by chance so believe it it is going to be tough for all the uh, thousands of aspirants appearing if it is easy it is easy for all so do not be underconfident as well as do not be overconfident in the exam hall just do your best just be relaxed jitna aata hai karte jayenge please remember nobody is going to attempt all 95 questions itna time itna manage nahi hoga in 120 minutes okay so try to solve as many questions as possible so choice of questions again will be important there okay guys so bye bye all the very very best do let me know how the exam was do connect me in the telegram uh, later on once you come up with the exam hall and then i'll come up and take some analysis also how the paper was what was the difficulty level and all those things okay so bye bye thank you stay safe all the very best to all the isro aspirants